Hey guys, how's it going? Zoo Raid back yet again with another video. Today I'm going to show you how to um, airbrush your buttons to whatever color you want. So you could have, um, like I have here, I have red buttons. Um, like I have here, black buttons. And on my other controllers I have um, white, uh, white buttons and uh, green buttons. But in this video, I'm going to be doing um, white, because I think a white-on-white -white controller would look pretty cool. So first, what you have to do is dismantle your uh, controller, just like this. Uh, lay out the parts. What I did was, um, I took some rubbing alcohol, and I cleaned, like, into the start, the 1, 2, 3, 4 lights, um, into the Microsoft, into the RTLT and into the uh, start and back button. Also the D-pad gets a little gunky too. But what you want to do is you want to get all the shit and crud off of it. Um, that way the paint has a better chance of sticking to it. Now what I'm using for paint... Let me just grab a random one. I'm using Americana um, acrylic paint and I have this in a, in a variety of different colors. Um, so once you get your controller apart, what you want to do is... Um, watch out, cat. Watch out. Come on. You want to take your controller, put your buttons in. I'm just going to put in the... Uh, four buttons and then what you want to do is you want to like tap on them just to make sure they're loose and once they're loose you just want to um, just pop them out now what I usually do is uh, when I airbrush buttons I take a shitty shell that I use like a, uh, as a template I put the buttons in that And by putting them in this, they stick out um, the right amount. That way, um, if you spray the whole button, what I learned is when you push it down, it kind of wants to stay down there and doesn't want to spring back up. But when you just spray paint, spray the top of it and around the side, what that's going to show, it looks better and also um, you won't lose the ability to push the button. Um, so that's, that's what I use there. I'll get more into that after. Um, now, what I recommend is uh, I like to keep these that color because that just that's that. Um, let me grab this. This is one so far. Uh, I usually take a box, cut out some slits. That way, I can just place the pieces in there. Um, I don't have to touch them and get my fingerprints in the paint while it's drying. Um, so that's that. Also you don't have to do the piece that you do the um, clip the d-pad into because that's at the inside of the controller. So that doesn't matter. You can also paint the sticks and they get, um, they really do have the same feel to it. It's just a little bit gritty but um, as you can see it's uh, really nice. I haven't put the clear coat on this yet. Um, I'll be doing that after. So uh, let me get my airbrushing kit set up and I'll show you that. Alright, so some these are uh, the tools I use to paint um, controllers. So first let me zoom in on this. It is a uh, Harbor Freight uh, air compressor or for specifically designed for airbrushing. I'm gonna pan over here. Then we have our actual airbrush. So let me take it out. As you can see, it's a very small thing. Um, by unscrewing this, you can pull out this rod and it controls how much paint comes out of the tip. Also, it's good for cleaning. You ram it back and forth. Haha, <laughs> that's funny motion, yeah. 
Um, that's that. This is your uh, paint reservoir. It holds all your paint and gets sucked up this tube and you put it in your airbrushing airbrush just like this. Um, that's all I pretty much know how to use. I don't know what this is for. Uh, if anyone knows what this is for, uh, please let me know. I mean, does it go here? Does it does it go like this on the side? And I just pour in paint? I mean, I, I have no idea, so uh, please help me out there. That's that, and that's that. Then what you need is a nice hair dryer. Nothing too fancy, just a $10 hair dryer. Um, this will just help it help the paint dry a lot quicker, um, so that way you can touch it without uh, smudging the paint. So. I'm going to get my camera set up in the bathroom and uh, start mixing some paint for you guys, show you what to, uh, how to do that. Alright guys, so we got our white paint into our um, little holder, and what you want to do is, um, we have the paint up to here, so when you fill it up with water, you want to fill up, what I usually do is half of the amount of paint you have, you put water in. Um, also put warm water, it helps a lot. Alright, so then once we put the water in it, you can see it's all like that. You put the top back on, get on there tight. There is a little hole um, that will bring in air. So what you want to do is you want to cover that with your finger, cover the uh, tip, and then you just shake it. And pretty much what this does is make sure the paint is uh, thoroughly mixed okay so now let's go put it in the gun alright guys we're almost ready to paint um, but we have to tape up those buttons uh, so when we flip over the controller they won't fall out so what I did was I put uh, a little ball of tape in each um, uh, over each button. Now I'm going to get some tape. And then just lay it right over that. Put it on the sides. There's one. Okay, and there's the other. So um, now our buttons won't uh, come on, come loose, and slide out while we are painting and letting it dry. There we are. So what we're going to do is we're going to place that down. We're going to take our airbrush and then we're just going to test to make sure it's working. And it is. I'm sorry for the uh, air compressor noise. But what we're going to do, we're going to just double check the buttons and we're just going to spray over them uh, lightly. So that's going to be our first coat on the buttons, set that aside for right now. And then we're going to also uh, give these a coat. So there's our first coat. So after we do our first coat, uh, we just gotta dry it up. So I'm gonna do that and get rid of the sound so you can't hear it.
Alright, now we're going to apply the uh, clear coat. This was a $10 uh, spray can. Uh, what it is is a clear acrylic, acrylic sealer for acrylic paint. So what you do is make sure you are in a, uh, a, very, a, well, a well ventilated area. You want to spray it from very far back. I've had experiences where this will turn um, the white paint into like a bluish paint. So I spray it back pretty far. You want to do even light coats. You can always do more. And that's that's that. Okay, we have this. Then we have our two sticks. I found out that just holding them is a lot better. Okay, so once you have all that done, cap the shit smelling clear coat, and then what you want to do is, you want to take your, um, uh, what is it, your hair dryer, and you always want to go on low heat, um, I had experience where I'd try to blow it on high, and what happened was, um, the paint would crack, and then this shit would, um, it would just dry too quickly and ruin it. So what you want to do is just put it on low heat and uh, dry it completely. Don't touch it at all because otherwise you will um, put fingerprints into the uh, the clear coat and then you'll have them there forever. So I'm going to do this. You're going to watch it and you're going to like it. What you can also do to test it is uh, I sprayed all right here. So what you want to do is just want to see if it's sticky. Um, if it's not sticky, that means it's pretty much dry and you're not going to ruin it. Um, so just like over here, it's not sticky. The pieces aren't sticky. The buttons aren't sticky. So it should be good. I'm just going to uh, dry it a little bit more just to make sure. Um, you'd probably want to let it dry maybe um, 30 minutes after you're done. Uh, but I just want to show you, so I'll be right back. Alright, so, um, all the buttons are dry from the clear coat, so what we're going to do is we're just going to pop them out. Now, they may be just uh, a little stuck from the clear coat, so just pop them directly out, and as you can see, we have a nice button. Nice white button. And it's still nice because it has the color of the original, um, so you know which one it goes in, so there's no real guessing. Um, so we have that. Take this one out. Not sticky. Nice. Looks pretty awesome. I should have, uh, painted just everything white, um, but I'm running out of paint, so, uh, I couldn't do the actual controller. So I'm just going to pop these buttons in.
just going to lay this down. Now this is just a shitty ass uh, broken controller that I have to take the sticks off of. Um, so it's just for like demonstrating it pretty much. Just to give you like a feel of how it would actually look. I'm just going to put the sticks on real quick and then I'll put it back together. So give me a second. Alright, so I put the sticks back on the controller. Uh, we're going to put it in the controller now. I'm going to push it down, click it in. I'm not going to put any screws in just because it's whatever. But as you can see, it looks pretty sweet. All white controller, white buttons. And then you have the new Chrome uh, guide button, which is pretty sweet. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, remember to stick around for the uh, airbrush kit clean clean down, I guess you want to call it. Uh, I'll show you how to do it properly, so stick around. Hey guys, thanks for joining me um, for the cleaning section, section of my uh, airbrush. So what you want to do is you want to take off the paint, hold this upside down, and you just want to run some hot water, or warm, whatever you want, um, just not cold, because otherwise it, it doesn't really help get out the paint, and you just want to uh, run it through there, I just use straight up hot, as you can see the tip is uh, covered. So what, what, what you can do is you can just unscrew that. And that's why I have the uh, plug in the drain. I don't want it to go down there. Go like that. And you can also use the uh, stick of that to um, act as a toothpick almost. And you can just get in there and clean it out. Run it under some water. That's all set. Place that on the napkin. Okay, I'm going to turn off the water. All I'm going to do is just put this back in and just stick it in the water as I um, move that in and out so it can get out whatever paint is left. Same thing within here. It also gunks up. So what you do is just ring it around, wash it out, ring it around, wash it out, you know. It's also a good idea to use some rubbing alcohol. That also works really, really well. Uh, it, what it does is it breaks down the paint uh, molecules, um, waters it down, destroys it, and gets it out of your gun. Now, if you don't clean it good, uh, what will happen with is uh, when you go to spray the next time, say if you use black and you want to use white, if you don't clean it good enough, well enough, um, what will happen is you'll spray out like a gray kind of color. Um, so I highly recommend uh, this. And you have to use 91%. It's uh, the highest percentage of rubbing alcohol you can get. Um, any Walmart, Target, uh, CVS, just take some on there, and it'll get rid of that gonkiness. So that's enough for the gun right now. Just put it back together. Then what you want to do is you want to take um, your paint, run the hot water, unscrew it, and you just want to let it fill up and shoot out all that nasty paint. Usually when I use my kitchen sink, it cleans off from the glass, but 
what you got to do is you rub your finger around just to get it out of there. Once it's all out, just put it upside down on the uh, your napkin. Then you got to go to the top part. Make sure you don't lose that seal, because when you lose that seal, you're screwed. Make sure to get down that pipe. See how it's uh, just dribbling out? That's because it's clogged. And there we are. And you want to wait until that's just uh, clear water coming out. There we are. So after you do that, I like to fill up my um, paint reservoir full of uh, rubbing alcohol like half, halfway. So what I did here is I put in some rubbing alcohol in the uh, paint reservoir, put it into my uh, spray gun, and then what you want to do is you just want to uh, spray it into a paper towel just, you know, a couple inches away, get out all that gunk, um, and then you should be good, and then you just want to clean, clean this out, r rinse it out with water, make sure there's no rubbing alcohol left. So thank you for watching. Please like, favorite, and subscribe if you enjoyed. Stay tuned for more videos. Um, leave me a comment down below if you would like uh, me to do an actual tutorial on how to do some cool stenciling on a controller. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.